Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of League Gaming featuring Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Link. So today I'm going through some updates by Konami and also to introduce you a fun and most viable deck which is featuring Ghost Trick and Wetland deck. I know Wetland deck is out there for quite a long time but it was requested by one of my viewers and subscribers. So as I always say, I always try to fulfill your request. So I hope you guys drop a like for this video. Leave a comments down below for what other decks you'd like me to show and I will try my best to come up the deck for you. And remember to subscribe and follow me on my Facebook for more updates and uploads. So without further ado, let's go on to the update. So basically, a lot of people is complaining that why Konami did not have a, a Christmas present for us and now we got it, pick a gift campaign. So basically, yesterday we went through the day one, I have 50 gems. For those new player, I would say yes and no to op. I have tons of op to be honest, so I would rather take gem than op. But basically, it's your, it's per your, I mean your demands. And I take spiral spear strike over this fusion card because I still don't see viability in fusion. I like to see more on the Gaia, the fierce knight. So I pick one of this. So tomorrow there is SR gem, definitely I will take it. But for those who has low in UR, I suggest you will take the UR one. And day four, I will take Spyro as well. For the rock, for the rare card, actually you can click on those rare and <clears throat> go inside to take a look to see what other cards you don't you haven't got them. So it's pretty good. And beside that, I think more or less people is confused about this. Onikuji and the Blue Eyes White Dragon Burst Stream of Destruction. So Onikuji is is a new is a new card introduced in Konami in this dueling. So basically, it's once per turn during your standby phase, your opponent declare one cup type monster spell or trap, and if excavate the top card of the deck, then if it's a cup type, your opponent draw one. Otherwise. This card. So this is a pretty good milling card, I would say. If you are those tilter player, those you know burner miller, you can feel free to to use this to get this instead of burst stream of destruction. I do believe Brew Eyes White Dragon will rise a bit, but honestly, I still think that they are quite kind of slow in summoning. So it's your choice. Personally, I think I will pick one of this. And next, uh, on the SR list, same thing, you can click on the SR logo itself and take a look on the cards that you don't have. And you can choose them as well. So basically, I do have this too, which I don't think is viable as of now. So I'm not sure who, what card I will take. We shall see when the time comes. So without further ado, let's, uh, that's all for the update. So let's move on to the deck list today. The fun and most viable Ghost Trick deck and also Wetland deck in Duel Link. Drop a like, leave a comment and subscribe for more. So basically, this is my Ghosty Barrel Trick. I use Draw Sense, Spell and Trap. I mean, there's a lot of other skills like uh, Dual Standby, Destiny Draw that is more viable, but I mean, it's bonds. This is a bonds deck, so I use draw, sand, spell, and trap because usually I, I will rely on my back row than a front row. So one goes straight Yuki Ona. This card allows if this destroyed, it allows you to, it it serves like a front gate to get the opponent monster that destroyed Yuki Ona to be face down permanently, and goes straight which this is about uh turning them into defense face down position which is very viable and partner it with Gravity X so the opponent can't change their better position. So basically this is a tilting and milling deck. I have two Ghost Trick Mami. So this card I will set first and when I summon I can do a additional summon beside my my singular summon. And Ghost Trick Skeleton basically this card effect is if it's uh, from face down to face up, if I control Ghost Street cards on the front row, I can get to banish and mill out my opponent card. 
Gravity X just to fix their position in defense with my Ghost Street Witch. Spray Barrel. So you will like to partner Spray Barrel with Extra Barrel. So that's why it's a Ghosty Barrel trick. So basically, basically Spray Barrel, when you control a monster, you take no better damage. So pretty, pretty cool. And partner with Extra Barrel. If your opponent monster attack a monster that you control, you can make the attack a direct attack instead. So basically, if you have a front row and you have these two back cards, they can't do any damage to you unless they destroy your monster or the trap card. Because of newbies, just for stalling purposes and defensive, windstorm as well. A flank plan is also for stalling and defensive purposes. So without further ado, let's move on to the replay. So bonds versus bonds. Let's see who has a laugh laugh. Last laugh. I hope you guys so far enjoy uh, the video of my channel. Do subscribe to my channel as well. And drop a like. Straight to the green. So basically I open up with two back row, two front row, a faint brand, ghost street skeleton and cards of Dark Illusions. So basically, I'm facing a zombie deck. I use Frank Frank, Ghost Trick Skeleton first, banish one card because I only have one card of Ghost Trick face up. So now he's trying to attack me. I let it be. I have I have no uh, defensive purposes. I'm just trying to stall as of now and using Gravity X for the partner. Call of the Mummy, let it attack. And now just setting some card, just preparing. Preparation is always the part of winning. So go straight witch, turn this to defense position, face down position, gravity X, knock down the both of them to defense, face up, face down. So basically I thought that I can I can stall that turn, but he has a tribute summon, so he's going aggressive at me, at your boy here. So I continue to set and he summoned the pumpkin, the king of the ghosts. I honestly never summoned this pumpkin before, so let's take a look at the animation. This is my first time saying pumpkin, the king of ghosts. So, curse of newbies, turns them all to defense, and the heart of the card, skeleton, banish one more. I have two barrel up now. Basically, it's GG for him. I use spirit barrel, make it a direct attack with no damage. Easy peasy like a cheesy hazy. So there's nothing he can do, he just gave up. <laughs> so simple. I hope you guys have fun and enjoy this deck. Well, if you are king of game, just play some fun decks and just have some fun. So another bonds against bonds. It's always nice to see different kind of deck coming up. Uh, later, I will be coming up with uh, another video, Miracle Contact, I guess, or Fusion Contact. So do stay tuned for the video later. So it's a Red Eye Zombie deck. I always love him to mount his card. The more the the more he went to the graveyard, the more smiling I go. So go straight skeleton. Have to back row defense. Gonzuki, more milling, more winning, a fake brand, no attack on me. So go straight skeleton, banish one card. So just continue to face down. Curse of newbies, turn them to defense position. Go straight mummy first. Go straight mummy, another normal summon, and go straight skeleton allows me to banish three cards here. And I just use gravity axe. Just to hold down. Just hopefully he don't have any red eye zombie to tribute. But he has storm. What a theater. Can I still win here? Can I still make a comeback? That's the question. A storm, so much of cards. Basically my front row is all gone now. I only left with Ghost Street Skeleton. I banish one card before I before I go to the grave. A fake brand? No attack, I, I'm afraid of anti-magic arrow there. So Ghost Street Skeleton, one more card. He have one more card left. 
and he just surrender because after this round, he has no more cards in his graveyard. So this will be the last game of uh, Ghost Trick replay. Leave your comments down below on what other decks you think is viable for Ghost Trick. Honestly, I don't think it's competitive, com 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 competitive enough. Sorry for the mispronunciation. So three monster, not really good. Yuki Onas, set defense. I have Astro Barrier, Gravity X, Ghost Street Skeleton, face up, face up, banish two card, face down, face down. So this is basically a face up, face down deck. Polymerization. So it's a Ge Gemini Tiller. Astro Barrier, attack me directly. I, I will take the brain for it. And now I use Ghost Trick Skeleton, me out 3 card, Ghost Trick Witch effect to turn this to defense face down position and Gravity X. Yuki Ona, but I misplay here. I destroy myself. Don't say I didn't tell you, but he attacked my Yuki Ona, so it become a Fraggate effect. And 700 attack, I use the Extreme Barrel to give me direct attack, Ghost Trick Witch. So continue my stalling plan, he has powerful rebirth, getting his crap out, supervise. And he keep on milling his deck which is always nice for a boy. And he surrender because he knows that this is going to nowhere. So on the next replay, I'm gonna show you the wet land deck. So this is the Wetland Destiny Barrel. So today is a barrel kind of uh, gameplay for you guys. Okay. So basically, Wetland has been, I think, in dueling for a month now. So we should have two copy of Wetland. So all Aqua type water level two or lower monster gain thousand two hundred attack. So which means your Star Boy will get. 2250 attack and I have two summary frog just will get me more attack with star boy and uni frog that is low in attack but it can make attack uh, direct attack I have this Newman era Tats testudo so what does this card do neither player can special summon monster with 1800 or less attack so pretty pretty OP in my sense that you know they can't they can't special summon any card. So one enemy controller just uh for defense purpose. The miss of the land. So activate only when your opponent special summon a monster. Select one fill spell from my deck and activate it. So basically you can pull wet land from your deck to the graveyard uh to the front row. Two golden apple just for defensive with destiny draw. Add spirit bearer two of them and extra bearer two of them. So I think this is the most viable uh, deck in dueling for Wetland. I hope you guys enjoy. And remember to drop some like, subscribe to this channel, and follow me on my Facebook for more updates and uploads in the description down below. So against, I'm, I kind of forget against who, but we shall see. So basically, he start off with Masuda. So he's a hazy, hazy theater, more hazy frame. Let's see how Wetland can deal with hazy frame. So three front row in turn two. I was like, okay, my star boy is here. Don't be afraid with Wetland. What's the attack of hazy frame now? Thousand five. Oh god. Oh jeez. So extra barrel. They try to beat down. Let me take the dive, take the life damage. I'm okay with it. Destiny draw, and get out my spirit bearer. I have uni frog here. I try to attack a uh, sergeant electro. So now he sergeant electro me. I just enemy controller. Why not? So within two turn, I overcome this player. Pretty pretty awesome card. He tried to beat down me, but for what? 
Come at my life point. Oh, you unlucky for you. Zero life point and you lose. A theater deck to the max. So this will be the last replay of Wetland. I hope you guys have success with these two decks that I showcased to you guys. And stay tuned for more. So I start off with Redlands, Star Boy, pretty good. And 2250 attack in turn 1. So should be a Gemini deck. So become 2750 attack. Oh my goodness, this Star Boy is a beast. A beastie. So you supervise. I don't really give a damn about this. I just go for the direct attack and attack for the easy. Knockout bash, easy peasy like a cheesy crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do drop a like, leave your comments down below for any improvement on this deck and any other decks you'd like me to feature. And subscribe to my channel, it is free. And follow me on my Facebook for more updates and updates. So have a good day, good afternoon, good night, signing off, and peace.